Hello. Um, I am going to talk about the homework for tonight um, and go over how you do it and give you some of the answers. Um, there are going to be plenty of different options of vertical and adjacent angles, um, but if you are confused for any reason, please um, pay attention to what I'm saying and um, make sure that you are understanding why I'm telling you that certain angles are vertical or adjacent. So we're starting with vertical angles and the definition of a vertical angle is um, angles that are formed when two lines intersect. Um, they are opposite angles and they are congruent to one another. So congruent means the same. Um, so the first pair that I'm going to name, we will start with angle FIC. We name our angles um, with the vertex listed in the middle. So FI, sorry, that's FIC, and the other angle that line C forms and line F, when they intersect, forms this angle here, which will be EIG. So we have angle EIG. G. And you can see they are directly across from one another, forming vertical angles, and they are congruent. So another pair, um, I'm just picking any angle. So I've got angle GIB. And if you are confused about how to figure out which of these would be vertical to it, as I explained in class, if you take this line that starts at the B and follow it all the way past the vertex through to the other side, take line G, so I'm looking at this, I named GIB already, then I'm going to take G and follow it all the way through to the other side, I'm going to look at the angle that is directly opposite from that, and that is going to be angle DIF. So angle GIB and angle DIF are equal to each other as well as vertical. Um, there are several other pairs of uh, vertical angles that you could find on here, um, but I'm going to leave you with those. Um, you can find some more. So please, the homework is asking you to find each pair. Um, I would find as many as you possibly can that are vertical to one another. Um, on the same little diagram here, we're looking to find um, all of the adjacent angles. So again, I'm just going to name a few of them for you and talk about them. The definition of adjacent indicates that um, adjacent angles are angles that share an endpoint as well as a side. Um, adjacent angles are not always congruent, so that is not a rule. Um, so basically, adjacent is your next door neighbor, directly, uh, directly next door to you. If you're sitting in a pair like we do in class, Adjacent means the person sitting directly next to you. Um, if we're talking about a home in a neighborhood, adjacent would be the neighbor on either side of you. Um, so you could have a neighbor adjacent to you on the right or a neighbor adjacent to you on the left. That is the same with angles. So just like before, I'm going to pick a random angle. Um, so I am going to pick angle I, I'm sorry, EIG. So angle EIG, and I need to figure out which angle is adjacent to it. Shares a side and an endpoint. So here's my endpoint, here's my side, the angle that is directly next to it, sharing the endpoint and side. I would have GIB. So angle GIB. Notice I'm naming my angle using the vertex in the middle. This could be flipped around, it could be GIE. It doesn't matter which endpoint you start with. The important thing is that you use the vertex in the middle. Um, angle EIG, so I'll go back to where we started with angle EIG. That also has another adjacent angle. It shares an endpoint and shares a side. So I'm going to list another pair, EIG, and angle AIE. So essentially we are looking at angles directly next door. Um, I'm going to name one more pair for you and then you can name um, some of the remaining pairs yourself. 
So I have angle FIC. And um, sharing a side and an endpoint would be CIH. Okay? Um, the one thing with adjacent angles that we want to make sure is that they are not overlapping. They cannot be adjacent if they overlap. So if I give you this example, okay? So if I have this here and this here, I could not say that angle B I C is adjacent to angle F I C. Do they share a side and an endpoint? Yes. But if you look at, they are sharing the side and endpoint, but if you look, do you see how angle B I C is overlapping angle H I C, they cannot overlap. That's like thinking of if you're, if you're living in a subdivision with a neighborhood and you have a house next door to you, that's like saying that um, the house next to your neighbor is directly next to you. They cannot be your true neighbor unless they're bordering you and sharing a side of your yard. So these cannot be adjacent. They have to be directly next door to one another. The last part of the homework, we are not doing the bottom. The last part um, tells us to solve for each variable using knowledge of vertical angles. Um, we know that vertical angles are congruent to one another. Basically, um, congruent means that they are exactly the same measurement. So um, we are going to take what we know about vertical angles and write them as an equation and use our knowledge of equations to solve. Um, so they want me to solve for W first. So, I'm going to find the angle that um, has W in its uh, degree measurement, which is angle RUF. So, I'm going to take the measurement of that angle. This is literally the measurement. Um, it's 3W plus 132 degrees. I know that that is equal to angle TUQ, which equals 105. Because they are congruent, to one another, I write the measurement of one angle equal to the measurement of another angle, and then I will solve. So I want to subtract 132 first. So that leaves me with 3W equals 20, negative 27. Now I need to get my W by itself, divide by 3. That leaves me with W equals negative 9. So my W is equal to negative 9. Now I'm going to solve for S. If you need that, you can just pause and go back to it. Um, now when I'm solving for my X, I've got this angle here. The measurement is 7x minus 9, and that is equal to its vertical angle of 75. Now I'm going to solve for that. Start by adding 9 to both sides. And I'm left with 7x equals 84. I'm going to divide by 7, and I will get x is equal to 12. So the measurement of x is equal to 12. So real quick again, vertical angles are congruent to one another, so I find the pair of vertical angles, and I take their measurements and put an equal sign between them. So I know that my two teal angles here are equal to one another, so I wrote them down as 7x minus 9 is equal to 75 and then I solve for X. Um, please re-watch this video. Everything that I just talked about is what is um, in your foldable as well as what we talked about in class today. Um,
when you come back to class tomorrow, you're going to be expected to know these um, so we can move on and move into more difficult stuff, um, content using these basic skills. This is just the basics. As we move further into this, it's going to get more challenging. So you have to be able to do this before you can do the more difficult stuff. Um, that's it, hopefully this helps, bye.